Hello and welcome to the support video for workload automation video series. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the CTML DNRS utility to manage conditions for jobs that do not run daily. The CTML DNRS utility creates and loads the conditions from a file. This file contains prerequisite conditions that are required by the jobs in the Active Jobs database. Using the CTML DNRS utility, you can create needed conditions for each day even if the jobs that normally create those conditions do not run. The three main steps are to ensure that there is a manual conditions file present on the Control-M server and that it is populated with the appropriate conditions and lastly, the conditions are loaded by the CTML DNRS utility for that day. Let's proceed to the demonstration. In the planning domain, I have created two jobs with a dependency. Job 1 runs weekly on Tuesdays. Job 2 runs daily. Usually on Tuesdays, you will see both Job 1 and Job 2 in the GUI with their dependency. However, on other days, Job 1 will not be there as it is a weekly job, but Job 2 will be there as it is a daily job. So Job 2 will be waiting for the condition from Job 1, but it will never execute because Job 1 is not scheduled for the day. As you can see in the GUI, today is not Tuesday, so only job 2 is present in the Active Jobs database. If we perform a waiting info on the job, it shows that it is waiting for job 1's condition. This is where we can use the CTML DNRS utility to load the necessary condition for the day. Let's go to the control M server where we will change directory to ctm underscore server slash tmp where I have created a file ctmldnrs.dat as shown here. This is the content of the file where it shows the list of conditions that will be posted when run by the utility. The condition required is the last entry. Next, I will run the utility to load the conditions in this file. You can also create a control M job to load the manual conditions file daily after new day. This way, the loading of the manual conditions will be automated. After running the load, let's check the status of job 2. As you can see, it has received the condition and has run successfully. That concludes this control M solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.